Eucharistic miracles have been an important part of our Catholic faith. They testify to the reality of transubstantiation, that the bread and the wine transform, change, transubstantiate from bread and wine into the body and blood of Jesus Christ. A few months ago, I had my friend Ray Grijalba on, and he talked all about Eucharistic miracles. He did a lot of scientific research. People loved those videos. And since then, he's had the opportunity to begin working with an Oscar award-winning team of filmmakers to produce an entire movie, a film, a documentary on Eucharistic miracles. And so far, it looks amazing. So I want to invite Ray on to talk about it. Ray, how are you? I'm doing great. How are you, Taylor? Great. People loved that video um, interview that you did here on the Taylor Marshall podcast on the Eucharistic miracles. And uh, it looks like that apostolate, uh, that witness that you started is is growing. It's amazing. It is. It is. You know, this was really uh, God guided. We actually, I met with the uh, Oscar award winning director through Instagram. He just messaged me and said, hey, Ray, you want to do this project? And wow. then a producer also messaged me. We tagged up and uh, they actually go to the same Latin mass parish in LA and they didn't even know each other. That's amazing. That's amazing. I know. I know. So, well, speaking of Latin mass, let's say our opening prayer, and then uh, I want you to explain what's going on with this project, and and uh, we'll look at a a preview clip that's been put together and, and learn more about it. So, let us pray. You want to do the second half? I will. All right. Oremus, nomine patris et fidei et spiritus sancti. Amen. Pater noster, qui es in celi, sanctificeter nomen tuum, adveniat regnum tuum, fiat voluntas tua, sicut in cello et in terra. Panum nostrum quotidi. Quotidianum de nobis odie, et dimitti nobis debita nostra. Sicud et nos dimittibus debitoribus nostris, et ne nos inducas in tentationem, sed libera nos amalo. Amen. Amen. Nomine Patris, et Filii, et Spiritus Sancti. Amen. Well, you know, one of the things that you, you did, Ray, when talking about the Eucharistic miracles is you focused uh, on the science uh, not just the history, but on the science. And now that we live uh, in, a, in our contemporary age with what we know about DNA, blood types, et cetera, there's, there's really a huge possibility to delve into this. And I think that's what you and the team are trying to do with this new film. It is, it is. And you know, what was really amazing, I'm blown away by how many people have really taken on to this video the original one has 400,000 views already. Wow. And I think it's because we actually went to the doctors and interviewed them. So while we did this over Skype in that original video, in this movie, we're going to be traveling all over the world, Italy, Argentina, Mexico, and uh, it's going to be amazing. So Taylor, if you want to roll the clip, that'll give a good intro and then we'll go more into it. Yeah, let's do it. Let me see here. Pull it up. That's all right. Not it. Oh, that's not it. Hold on. Here it is. <laughs> This is my body. For centuries, Christians have debated what Jesus meant. Was he speaking symbolically? Did the bread become his body? Does it even matter? This is the most important debate in Christianity as the answer changes everything. Christ has given us a series of Eucharistic miracles where the bread has transformed into his flesh to show this truly is the body of Christ. These miracles have been studied by medical doctors from around the world with cutting edge technologies. But unfortunately, most Christians don't even know that they exist. To share this truth, we are making the first ever Eucharistic Miracle movie by a member of an Oscar award-winning team. Using the best in 3D animation and visual effects, we're gonna make a movie that's so impressive that you could share it with anyone. I am the director and the DP for this movie. I have 35 feature films on my belt. I've been playing almost every role in this filmmaking from concept, storyboard, producing, writing, animation to D3D, special effect. We will go into the theology of transubstantiation and Jesus' Eucharistic command with the best theologians in the Catholic world. We will also consult doctors, including those who have personally analyzed these miracles. These doctors will address questions that both non-believers and believers have difficulty understanding. A misconception that our culture has is that science and faith contradict. In this movie, we're gonna consult physicists and other doctors in various specialties to show that science affirms the truths of our faith. This movie is exactly what the world needs right now. We want to make a movie that shows the truth in a way that compels anyone to ask, could this really be Jesus? Whether it's your fallen away son, your evangelical sister, or your atheist or agnostic neighbor, 
We live in a world that's starving for quality, holy content, and we can't do this halfway. To make this a professional production, we're going to bring in animators who've worked at Disney and Lucasfilms. Can you help us make this a reality? Because we will need your help. For example, just eight minutes of animation will cost over $30,000. We will also have historic scenes to film, international travel, and more. Also, Catholic means universal, so we want to make this a truly universal film. And with your help, translate this into 12 languages, so souls across the globe can see this movie. Blessed Carlo Acutis was the first person to share Eucharistic miracles with the world. Did you ever think there would be a Eucharistic miracle movie in theaters? That's our goal, June 2021, to release this movie in theaters. We can't do it without you, so make a pledge, christianchannel.com, and please keep us in your prayers. Have a blessed day, and God love you. All right. Well, that looks pretty good. All right. I like that animation. That's going to be good. You know, um, that's probably one of the things I'm most excited about. So what's going to be unique about this movie is uh, Angelo's connections in Hollywood. He's been working in Hollywood for the last 35 years. Um, and we've done a video before referencing him. His godfather was Padre Pio's assistant for 25 years. So uh, he's from Italy. You hear his accent in the video. But he's a great guy. And because of all the connections he has, we're going to do things that have never been done before. So one that I'm most excited about is uh, CGI or computer generated imaging of transubstantiation. Mm -hmm. So we always hear of transubstantiation and it's impossible to fully comprehend, but I'm a visual person. I know a lot of people out there are visual people. So to see it, you know, artistically and, and really well done is going to be one of the things I'm most excited about in this film. We're also going to, as I mentioned in the video, bring in, Catholic physicists, like people that have their PhD in physics, to talk about how this is not uh, against science. Because what you've seen in all the videos, Shroud of Turin, Eucharistic Miracles, all these things, is that people think that science and faith contradict. Mm -hmm. And when they see the scientists saying, no, that's not actually true, it really opens the door. Uh, we're going to do a lot of incredible things, as you mentioned there. And that full video is on my YouTube channel, The Joy of the Faith. So if you want to check that out and share it, that would be great. Yep. Uh, but we really want to do some historic scenes. John 6, right, where the disciples leave, you know? Yeah. Because I've never seen that well done where it's like, wow, oh my gosh. Oh, I've never seen deal. that done ever. I know. It would be yeah. really powerful. So that's something I really want because when I heard that, when I heard that preached from the pulpit for the first mm -hmm. time, it blew my mind. Yeah. Like Jesus was literally willing to lose everything for this. He turned to his 12 and said, do you also wish to leave? So... I think yeah, and he doesn't say, oh, I was just talking symbolically. It's just a symbol. Exactly. Don't go. Don't go. Our Lord lets him walk. He does. It's powerful. He does. he does. And that's the only time people leave of, because of his teaching. You know, uh, I, I so often think how they say, this is a hard teaching. Who can hear it? And yes, transubstantiation and, and receiving the flesh of Jesus is a hard teaching. But how many hard teachings, especially today, do we Catholics cling to? Um, so that would be really great. Uh, the Passover, things like this. So what we want to do is there isn't one movie out there, Taylor, that you could hand to anyone, no matter who they are, where they're at, and mm -hmm. say, hey, watch this movie and let me know what you think. Because mm -hmm. a lot of them are uh, maybe cheesy or uh, not edited well or not like it touches like one cusp, but it doesn't approach everything. So we want this movie to, to relate to anyone, right? Literally people that have their Ph.D. in physics, you know, from that aspect to you know, hardcore fundamentalist Christians to get that biblical side. And then what we also hope to do is have regular parents, you know, people of all different walks of life to talk about how the Eucharist transformed their life. So some of what we're hoping to get. And uh, if anyone watching, well, I'm not gonna say that yet. So yeah. you, you'll have to stay tuned, but we wanna get the uh, people to realize that it's, this movie isn't just gonna be on science. It's not just going to be on apologetics. It's going to hopefully appeal to the whole thing so that when you leave the movie theater, you know, we're hoping to have this in theaters, or if you pledge, you know, the right amount, you'll be able to see that and walk out saying, oh my gosh, the Eucharist can change my life because I've seen all these people talking about how it's changed their life. Right. So it's going to be amazing. Uh, we mentioned martyr stories in there. You saw the, uh, the storyboards of that yep. kid getting chased down by those Roman guards. That was Tarsicius. Tarsicius, yeah. Gonna, 
for that. We have some pretty big name actors that are going to play Roman soldiers in there. So cool. it, it's going to be amazing. And then we'd like to get Ignatius, you know, talk about the early church fathers and their quotes on the Eucharist and how they believed in it. Because we always hear that people convert because of the early Christians. But is there anything that's reached the masses that show this and show the consistency? So it's a uh, it's going to be a very powerful movie, and it's it's already uh, I've already been amazed to see God working through all this. So obviously uh, we all know that these things aren't free. So this is kind of being a crowdfunded thing. So there's different levels. You can go to the YouTube video and, and check that out or the website. Um, but one of the things that I'm most excited about is. Um, in gratitude for anyone that makes a pledge over a thousand, we're going to have a red carpet premiere in Hollywood and, uh, or in California where we're going to release this movie. It's going to be great. And, uh, you're going to actually, we're going to meet all of each other and see like who helped uh, on a large scale, make this a reality yeah. because, um, these things, uh, will definitely to, to do it the right way. We'll need that support. So I'm really excited for that. Another thing, Taylor, that I think you'll like is, uh, what are you well known for? Your book is it in the is it in the corner? Oh, uh, infiltration. Yeah, it's not is in the it corner. There? I'll put it up. I'll put it up. Uh, all right, all right. So, after a couple of months, it's going to be uh, streamed on the Christian Channel initially, um, which the Christian Channel for those wondering, it's, it's ran. The CEO is Catholic, um, but we're going to hopefully put this on Netflix and Amazon Prime. Mm -hmm. So we're going to be doing a reverse infiltration. Yeah. That's awesome. You like that, Taylor? I like it. I like it. You know, one of the things I was thinking about as I watched this trailer or this promo uh, sh uh, short is, you know, in the 90s and in the 2000s, there's this huge explosion of authors writing books, conversion stories, theology books that made things very basic for the lay people. And that led to a number, uh, I would say hundreds of high profile conversions of pastors and well-known people who became Catholics. And, you know, if you've ever watched The Journey Home on EWTN, you're aware of that movement that was sparked um, by sort of a, a, a renaissance in popular apologetics for Catholicism. And my hope moving forward, you know, we're in kind of a, a hard time socially, politically, and in the church. My hope is that we're moving into a, a new renaissance, but instead of being those, those popular devotional books and apologetics books, we're moving into a new kind of a video explosion of apologetics and of conversions and, uh, you know, deeper faith, hopefully saints being formed. And so I think this film is, is part of that and could be one of the, one of the first ones of, of creating apologetics in film. You know, we're moving into a, a more of a video age. And uh, I think this, this video is, is going to be one of those. No, I totally agree, Taylor. I've, I've always thought that video is the best medium today because what do they say? They say a picture is worth a thousand words. If we have an hour of different pictures, right, making up this movie, that is priceless. And to get the right music and, and uh, editing is just going to be, uh, I think it's going to be very powerful and show people that, you know, on this channel, we talk a lot about like the challenges in the faith and, and all that's going on. But uh, at the end of the day, we don't leave because of Jesus. He is the reason that we're Catholic. To receive him is the most important thing. And the most critical teaching of Catholicism, which separates us from everyone else, is that we believe what Jesus said. That's right. We take him at his word, as Archbishop Fulton Sheen said. When he said, this is my body, that became his body. And uh, we're going to go into that and much more in this movie. So I, uh, I'm really looking forward to it. Um, Taylor, what was your favorite part of the video? I like seeing that animation. Uh, and I'm curious to see the... the um the historical reproductions um, that'll be in the film. I think, you know, we live in a time right now where people are, are discouraged about scandals and things like that. And I think it's a focusing on the Eucharist reminds you that the beginning of the ultimate betrayal of our Lord and savior, Jesus Christ, Judas Iscariot, that happens in the context of the Eucharist. So the solution to staying close to Jesus and not betraying him and overcoming betrayal is the Eucharist. So we have to focus on the Eucharist and on the Mass because, you know, it says Judas left and Satan entered him. And that was the first Mass. You know, I think that's so important because what do we, we want, we want conversions, right? Mm. You know, how many times have people been on fire for the faith and they've fallen out of it? 
right? We, we know that there are so many fallen away Catholics. I'm sure many of you watching, maybe your family, maybe your children. This is that movie that we hope with your support will be that one that you can share with them. That's not done in a, uh, I guess, in a too much of a preachy way. Um, we're hoping to get the right uh, people in place to weave together this story so that it's almost like the case for Christ by Lee Strobel, mm -hmm. where you, you're going along. You know, this is why we're not naming it a documentary. It's it's a film. It's a movie where you, you're sitting there and and you're piecing the puzzle together. Mm -hmm. So we're not just saying, yeah, John six says this. So you should believe we are mm -hmm. framing it in the right way so that they're sitting along like, oh, my gosh, yeah. you know, this is what it means. Jesus and the Jewish roots of the Eucharist is going to be another thing that we hope to address in this movie. That literally, right, Jesus is the Lamb of God, yep. sacrificed for us. But what did they have to do when they sacrificed the Passover lamb? Yeah. Eat. Eat the lamb. Eat. Right? Christ, our Paschal lamb, has been sacrificed. Therefore, let us celebrate the feast. Right. So these things that, you know, and hopefully we'll reach out to our Jewish uh, brothers and sisters through that. But mm -hmm. it's going to be, uh, I, I'm just really excited. And I'm amazed to see that God has allowed all these things to come together and everything to work out. Literally, like yesterday, we were looking for a clip to get at it. And I was praying to my guardian angel and Angelo said eight decades of the rosary. <laughs> and uh, sure enough, like l right in the nick of time, we got the footage necessary. So good. God is good. And uh, I'm just really excited. So Taylor, thank you uh, for having us on and sharing this. Uh, again, go to uh, christianchannel.com and support if you can. If you have any ideas or uh people that would like to speak or um, radio stations to have us on or anything like that, because we want to get this word out. Uh, there's a, a link. It's actually the joy of the You can s submit a little request uh, because, you know, I'm, I'm of the, I'm, I'm of the idea that the more opinions, the better and the, the more ideas, the better. So we're uh, hopefully going to kick it off. We have one month from today to raise all the funds. So, Hopefully that works out. Great. And yeah, and y'all, and I, I want to encourage everyone. My audience, every person who comes on here for an interview, says my audience is the most generous audience financially. I want y'all to know that. Wow. Uh, that's not me. That's y'all. Um, if if someone comes on and they're and they're raising money for a good cause, uh, I usually check it out first and then I endorse it. And this looks awesome. I like it. And so I put the link below this video in YouTube. Um, it's the crowd sourcing and they have different levels there and all that. But, you know, like I've said before on, on other movies, like we're doing the, um, the liturgy film, you know, have you seen that? Oh yeah. Yeah. It's amazing. You know, to me, I'm like, people spend whatever it is, 20 bucks a month on trash on Netflix. You take the family to a movie. I know we're not doing that in COVID, but if I take my family to a movie, that's a hundred bucks. It's, it's ridiculous to take, you know, eight kids and a wife to a movie. So you think about that much money and you go see something stupid. Why not spend the equivalent of that money and help promote a good film that strengthens our faith and will very likely convert people to the Catholic belief on the Eucharist and transubstantiation? Mm -hmm. To me, it's a no-brainer. So I would encourage everyone to, what is the, what is the um, I'm going to say it because, I don't know if everyone will see it, but it's below this video. What's the link? Uh, it's christianchannel.com, and then you'll see crowdfund films. Crowdfund hyphen films. There it is. Yep. Here, I'll put it on the so, screen. So, uh, I mean, Taylor, like you were saying before, when I was on, you know, a time before talking about Eucharistic miracles, there was someone in the chat saying, oh, my gosh, this really pulls me even more to the church. And it's like, wow, that was just an eight-minute video yep. that I did in my, you know, living room with, uh, you know, a few YouTube videos and simple editing. Yep. Can you imagine what a, a feature film, I guess, could do right. with the best theologians in the Catholic world, uh, professional actors? We're, uh, we're not going to cut, cut corners here, uh, obviously, depending on, on how we're funded. But I really believe that God will allow this to uh, rekindle the faith in so many. And then even, even in, in Catholics that have never heard of Eucharistic miracles or maybe have but think that they're you know, not a real thing or that uh, you know, this doesn't apply to my life hopefully re-spark the desire for the Eucharist, because the Eucharist changes everything. All yeah. the sacraments flow from that, right? Why do we have confession for that? Why do we have the priesthood for that? Why do we have baptism for that? And uh, it really, I mean, it's it's the central belief. We get to receive Jesus himself, and that can transform us. I mean, what else does it mean when Peter says that we can become partakers of the divine nature? Yep, that's it right there. We, if we maximize the grace, we can become saints. So... Thank you all so much. And, oh, man. Uh, well, it sounds awesome. I can't wait to see it. I hope I'm in it. 
I want to be in it. Yeah, definitely. definitely. And uh, I guess I'll settle for Roman Centurion, but maybe I can talk about transubstantiation or something. There we go. Or I could dress go. as a Roman Centurion and talk about it. <laughs> right. Um, like yeah, it looks, it looks great. It looks great. And um, I, I just encourage everybody, you know, reach out and uh, support good causes. I mean, we're in a media war right now. You all know it. We're in a media war. Um, you know, think about what you spend on secular entertainment and then just whatever that is, donate that or double that and and promote good content that's going to help people. So, Ray, thanks sure, for what you're so doing. I'm, I'm so glad that you, you made those original videos and it's snowballing into something in, even bigger. And I hope it continues. Um, thanks for all your, your good work. And, and thanks for coming on and sharing this project with us. Of course, of course. It's uh, I knew that God was doing something amazing through the Eucharistic Miracle video that I made. I never would have imagined it would be this. So yeah. who, who knows where we'll be uh, when this is out. But this is going to come out June 3rd, 2021. Corpus Christi, theaters. right? Corpus Christi, yeah. And uh, hopefully we'll get it translated into 12 languages. And this can be one of the tools that you can hand to anyone to uh, bring them back to the faith or bring them home. So Awesome. We'll keep up the good work. Why don't we uh, we'll pray an Ave Maria for its success. All right. And then we'll sign out. Oremus. In nomine Patris et Fidei et Spiritus Sancti. Amen. Ave Maria, gratia plena Dominus tecum. Benedicta tu in molieribus et benedictus fructus ventris tui, Jesus. Sancta Maria, Mater Dei, ora pro nobis peccatoribus, nunc et in hora mortis nostrae. Amen. Gloria Patri et Fidio et Spiritui Sancto. Sigut erat in principio et nunc et seper, et in saecula saeculorum. Amen. Amen. In nomine Patris et Fidii et Spiritus Sancti. Amen. All right, Ray, thanks for, for being on. Everybody pray that rosary every day. Rattle yes. those beads. If you don't pray the rosary every day, what happens, Ray? You're not on the team. You're not on the team. You're That's right. Team. All right. Well, happy Advent, Ray, to you, your wife, your beautiful children. And remember, our Lord, our Lord Jesus Christ said you're the light of the world and the salt of the earth. So go out there and be salty. God bless. Godspeed. Ray, thanks so much. Of course. Thank you, Taylor.